Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl, Miss J, and this is Talks with J, Views of a Sagittarius, episode 17. And we gonna call this, where are all the good men at? Yes, you heard me right. This episode is called, where are all the good men at? Um... Let me tell you the story to how I got the idea for this episode. So, talking to the homie, um, Daddy, and we all we talk about pretty much any and everything, and we were just talking about like dating and finding um, good men, and where are they? And we were just going through, like, different possible places that you could find a good man at. So, salute to Diddy for uh, sparking the idea for this episode. For anybody who knows who Diddy is, um, I consider us, like, the the female um, Sean, Sean and Gus, like, the smallest things we can talk about and joke about and go on for like hours with it. So definitely our conversation sparked the this the idea for the episode. So let's get into it. I need to know where all the good men are. Like, granted, yeah, we're in a um, pandemic going on, and we're quarantined. You can't really go out, and the few places you can go out, I'm pretty sure you're not meeting, meeting nobody yet. So, us ladies need to know, where are all the good men at? Like, we're going to be real honest about it. You're not going to the club or the lounge looking for a good man. I ain't going to say you can't find one there, but nine times out of ten, it ain't where you're going to find them. You're going to get your, your cuddy buddy or whatever you want to call them. Or your one night stand out that situation. But it's very few stories I've heard of like people going out to the club or the lounge and finding a really good person. I I'm not knocking those who have, but most of the stories I've heard that hasn't been the case. So I just need to know, where are all the good men at? Like, don't get me wrong. Social media definitely will have you brainwashed with the couple's goals and the portrayal of how people present themselves. Um, Social media, you can pretty much present yourself however you want to present yourself, honestly. Um, cause not as I said, if you meet that person, they're not what they're portraying on their social media, uh, nine out of ten times, and if they are, then kudos to them, kudos to you, but you just gotta be realistic about the, about, uh, things. Um... Catfish, catfish, and ghosted definitely make you not want an online date. Um, like these stories on catfish have you like, bruh, you talk to this person for X amount of years, and then when you finally have met the person, they don't look like what the picture showed, and a lot of the information that they told you 
was false. It was they was a complete fraud. Like I can only think of maybe five episodes from Catfish where the people have actually been the actual pitcher and the people actually ended up together. Other than that, most of these stories are wild and exaggerated. And you just be like, bruh, like, if I knew within the first few seconds that this person wasn't who they were, how you go X amount of years not putting two and two together to see these people are not who they make themselves out to be. Then y'all be talking about marrying these people and y'all blinded by love and a future. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, crazy to me. Um, but to each their own. Then you have, um, ghosted where you have people that have dated. And then, like, the person just goes, like, goes missing on you. Some of those situations are crazy also. Like, some of these people's reasonings to why they went ghost is just... Like, come on, put your big girl, your big boy underwear on and like man up and just be honest with these people. Say what the real issue was to why you ghosted them. Like, don't try to coward your way out of it. Like, honesty is the best policy when you're dealing with somebody. But I don't think people understand that nowadays. Like, people just trying to see really um, what they can do. And it's just really see how you're going to react to it. And if you don't react a certain way, they think they can just continue doing it. And it's no consequences. So, online definitely ain't it. But to the folks that have have done it and been successful, I tip my hat off to y'all. Um... Then I've heard a lot of people say go to church. Go to church and find you a good man at church. Now, I can't really say too much about going to church and finding a good man because I've never been to church. But the one time one of my um, friends invited me to go to Bible study. And him invited me to go. That was cool, you know. It was a it was a different experience in that I've never been to church in no capacity other than like a funeral. So that was cool. Like to say that I can go to church and find a good man, I can't yay or nay it. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that they have found good men in the church. Um I'ma say just because man goes to church doesn't mean he's going to be faithful. Doesn't mean he's going to not cheat. Doesn't mean he's not going to put his hands on you. You know, people had this misconception of um, people that go to church are like, like superior or whatever. Like, cool, you go to church. At the end of the day, we're all human beings. And you're going to make your mistakes just like any other person walking this earth. So, you going to church, to me, it really doesn't make a difference. But, hey, that's just me. Um, also, like, like me, me and Daddy also had the conversation of, how do you feel about dating your friend's exes? Are they off limits because that's your friend's old work? Or are they fair game if they broke up on good terms? Um, For me, I don't be looking at my friend's exes. They, they're your ex for a reason, which is cool. I'm not that type of person to go after your old work, your sloppy seconds, whatever you want to call it. Um... Whether y'all were just talking or situationship, actual relationship, that's just not my cup of tea. 
that's not what I do. But, you know, for anybody who's not, like, a real close friend of mine, if you, you want my sloppy seconds, more power to you. You know, that, whatever floats your boat. But that's just, for me, I, I'm not that person. Um... Um, we all, we also talked about uh dating dating um your ex's friends. Like for me, if y'all date y'all ended off on okay terms, you know, if y'all was actually in a relationship or had never got into a relationship, um, I don't see why your friends are off limits. That's just me. Um, I don't see why your friends are off limits. Not that I probably will go after your friends, but I don't see too much of a big deal with that one. I'm not that person. If I feel as though possibly um, one of my exes or whoever can make one of my friends happy, because I think personality wise or compatibility wise they're more suitable I'm not gonna be a hater and block that you know I'm gonna go along with it you know cause what might not work for me may work for you so that's just where I'm at with it then I'm pretty sure we've all met attractive people in the workplace and it's like damn you look good but I can't pursue it because you don't mix business and pleasure together so that's that's also hard because I know a lot of people said they've met people and dealt with people they work with I'm not that person you know I'm a look and admire from afar but I'm not going smack and sh- smack at you that's just nah we're not gonna have a situation and then i'm gonna be jobless if it if it goes straight to crap you know that's just not what it's gonna be um i know a lot of people who have met people through their friends um i think that could work also um, your friends should know pretty much how you are and what your type is and whether you and that you and somebody would mesh pretty well or y'all compatible compatible, you know, so meeting somebody through your friends is always an option. Um This is this is just how I'm I'm thinking it. Um, If y'all feel any type of way, agree, disagree, um, got some comments, questions, anything you want me to address, you know, drop them and I'll answer them. But yeah, this is just my viewpoint of where all the good men at. If you know some places where all the good men at, you know, help a sister out. You know, help a sister out. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only woman that wants to know where all the good men are at. So, till next episode, this is how we gonna close it out.